Well, it's going to be a long ride. We've now learned the commuter rail won't be back to full service for more than a month. The company is apologizing, but is that enough? Julie Lonchek is live in Needham tonight. Julie? And Lisa, we rode that commuter rail for more than an hour today. Commuters tell us service has certainly improved, yes, but they also say it really didn't have anywhere else to go but up. Nearly a month after it started snowing. They're brutal. 11 days after it stopped snowing significantly. They don't want to hear what I have to say. Commuter rail passengers are afraid. I'm running out of patience. We rode the Worcester line from South Station to Framingham, and with fewer trains in operation, it is standing room only. It's added a few hours to the day. Most commuters spend hundreds of dollars a month. $289 from Southboro. It's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. For service, they say, hasn't been reliable or, at this point, acceptable. What can you do besides uh, grin and bear it? Keolis, the company that operates the state's commuter rail system, met with the governor and transportation secretary Pollock Thursday to let everyone know they won't be at full service until March 30th. <laughs> do I have a choice? I would want to know why. Keolis apologized, writing, We know we haven't performed up to the high standards you have a right to demand and that we demand of ourselves. The truth is, is that I am a lifelong MBTA user, and if I have an early morning meeting with the governor, I will not take the commuter rail to get to that meeting anymore, and that really troubles me. It does more than trouble riders like Joe Hubley. This retired fire captain worries about safety, as passengers are now forced to stand in between cars. This is just insane. Something has to be done. And there's still no word on whether or not commuters might actually get that refund that many have asked the MBTA. Secretary Pollock pointed out today that would mean less money for the MBTA. And we all know the T could use the money. We're live in Needham, Julie Lonchek, WBZ News.